So what you actually said was you are not a sinner or you have never sinned. Is that correct? Yeah, I guess I've said that only. No, I'm not a Christian. I'm a Hindu. Did you ever take a cookie from the kitchen when you were told no? Yes. Okay, I'll stop with that one. You're not Hitler, right? I think, oh, I think when I die, I'll go to heaven uh, because I don't think I did anything wrong yet in my life. So here's a, my first question. Are you a Christian? No, I'm not a Christian. I'm a Hindu. So how did we get here, for instance, evolution? Or is there a God, somebody who made this, all of this? Well, people, well, some people will say it's evolution and some people will say there's God. But I do believe in God because miracles do happen and I think God is there. So maybe, I think God is there. So you think God did it. So do you know the Christian answer to that question? No, I don't know. Okay, so in the beginning, right? So Genesis 1, the very first book of the Bible, says in the beginning, God. So God spoke all creation out. So from nothing, so God always was. He was in the beginning. He'll still be there in the end, which there will be no end because it's eternity. So we will always be. So God spoke everything from out, out from nothing, and that's where you and I come from. We came from Adam and Eve. So God made man and woman, and he made us in their image, in the image of man, but also in the image of God. That's why we can love. That's why we, that's why we have knowledge. That's why we can get, gather wisdom, et cetera, et cetera. Why are you here? Why are you here on this earth? And not just right now in the next week or two to go to school, but why, what's the reason why you are here on this earth right now? Well, I think that's a tricky question, but I don't know, maybe there was something in me or maybe because of my personality or maybe there was some quality in me. That's why God chose me to be on earth, maybe. And, and would that be your answer or would that, be, uh, would that be your Hindu answer as well from a religious standpoint? Yeah, I think you can say that it may be from the Hindu's answer also and maybe my answer also. Yeah. yeah. Okay, terrific. So the Christian, the Christian world definition says God made us, we're here to enjoy Him, and we will either go to heaven or we'll go to hell. Okay, so Randy's new friend Creedy believes God created her. But when he asks her about the meaning of life and why she's here on earth, she suggests that maybe God chose her to be here because of something in her, like her personality, or some other seemingly desirable quality. I've just got to tell you that in my many, many years of having spiritual conversations with all people of all cultures and all creeds, I can't remember ever hearing someone say that. And though only God truly knows Creedy's heart, Jesus did teach us that our thoughts, our words, and our actions ultimately start in our heart. So based on her words, I fear for Creedy that some form of pride may be slithering around in there. Why do I say that? Well, because among other things, pride is excessive self-esteem and refusing to see yourself as God sees you. And scripture says that God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Again, I don't know Creedy's heart, but I do hope that she responds in humility and repentance when she hears the truth of God's gospel from Randy right now. Where are you going when you die? I think, oh, I think when I die, I'll go to heaven. Uh, because I don't think I did anything wrong yet in my life and I hope I'll not do anything wrong ahead in my life. So I just want to be a good person in life so that uh, when I go, when I die, I die happily and peacefully and go to heaven. All of us have fallen short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. Yeah. So what you actually said was you are not a sinner or you have never sinned. Is that correct? 
Yeah, I guess I've said that only. So are you going to stay with that? I'll try my best to stay like that and hopefully I can do it. Okay. So, have you ever taken uh, are you interested in a little test, by the way? Yeah, not a problem. Okay. Have you ever taken anything that didn't belong to you? No. You have you ever downloaded music that that was uh, that you should have paid for? Not really. Not really. Had, when you were 2 years old, did you ever take a cookie from the kitchen when you were told no? Yes. Okay, I'll stop with that one. I'll stop with that one. So, all we can agree that what God's standard of telling the truth and not lying or being a thief or you've probably stretched that a little bit yeah, uh, maybe a little you're not you're not hitler yeah. right but that's what we do as human beings what we do is we we measure we, on a on a bell curve yeah. right, so we actually take a look and we take a look at the rest of i'm not as bad as that guy over there right and that's what and that's what we do so do you know the gospel which is the good news of Jesus Christ have you ever heard the story of Jesus Yeah I heard it something back but I don't remember really it I don't remember it right now Can I tell it to you real yeah, quickly sure. Yeah. yeah sure okay. So Jesus Christ is God so God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit yeah. So God the God the Father has the plan and he sends God the Son here as a baby and that baby grows 30 years and his ministry was 3 years long and in those 3 years he revealed to the everyone to the people around him to all of the neighboring cities and towns that he actually was god and he proved that he was god through his miracles which you say you believe in you believe in miracles but the one man who walked this earth who walked this earth and produced those miracles he called people out of the grave right so people out from death he healed lepers he called people he came for the sick right and the sorry those who were broken people like me people like me and then they put him to death because they hated him my sin actually was what put him to death your sin too right i'm older than you so i'm a bigger sinner mm -hmm. the point was is our sin put him to death He walked out they buried him and he walked out of a grave 3 days later and he met and he walked around and he met hundreds of people and that and he walked the earth for 40 days and then he ascended back to heaven but he's also coming back and when he comes back we either need to admit that we're we're sinful and we repent of our sin and we turn from that and that turning is you're walking one way and you stop that's what repentance is we stop we say yes i'm a sinner and i need to stop and i turn you know what i really appreciate that you're stopping and talking to us bless that's not a problem bless you and thank you anytime thank you initially creedy seemed quite confident that when she dies she'll go to heaven why because she's a good person who's not a sinner and who has never sinned But the Bible clearly teaches in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Because God himself is the standard of good, sin is not so much a measurement of how bad you are, but how good you're not. Only God alone is good. And compared to him, you're not good. None of us are. Now, Randy very faithfully taught Creedy the standard of God's law to prove that she is a sinner, but perhaps a simple illustration would also be helpful. Let's suppose you owned a business with huge glass windows, and I threw a rock through one of them. Regardless if the rock is a small pebble or a big boulder, what's the only way to truly fix the window and make it whole again? Can you patch it? No. Can you paint it? No. You have to replace it with a brand new window. Well, likewise, if that huge window represents your heart before God and the rock represents the sin you commit, regardless if your sin is perceptively small, like a pebble, 
or big like a boulder. Any soul that sins will die. And the only way to truly fix your heart and make it whole and holy before God is to have Him replace it as you repent of your sin and become a brand new creature in Christ. Yes, any and all sin is that serious to God, which is why only God Himself in Christ can make you new. Well, thanks for watching Go Teams Media. To continue conversing and connecting with us, go to goteamsmedia.com. And if you want to watch that conversation complete and uncut, just click the link in the description below. I'm Corey McKenna, the Equipping Evangelist, and you've been on the go with Go Teams Media.